Back home, Prime Minister Modi has said that while oil is black gold, chips are digital diamonds. The Prime Minister inaugurated the Semicon India 2025 event and expressed confidence that the world is ready to build semiconductors future in India. IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav presented the first Made in India chip under semiconductor mission to Prime Minister Modi. My colleague Ashmit Kumar spoke to companies on the sidelines of the event to get a better sense of the chip manufacturing ecosystem, the challenges it faces and the key tailwinds. Semicon India 2025, over 33 countries, over 50 largest companies here, present here, the biggest names, ASML, Lam Research, Applied Materials, all present here. Now the semiconductor market, $600 billion globally, soon to climb to $1 trillion, and India wants to be a major part of it. With that semiconductor aspiration, Prime Minister Modi inaugurated Semicon India 2025. Oil, but black gold, but cheap are digital diamonds. Is one trillion market share में एक अहम हिस्सा भारत का रहने वाला है. Semiconductor के 10 projects में 18 billion dollar यानी डेढ़ लाख करोड़ पे से अधिक का investment हो रहा है. As a part of India's semiconductor mission phase one, the government had allocated 76,000 crore rupees. The Prime Minister this morning announced that the next phase 2.0, ISM 2.0 of the support programs is just around the corner and sources tell us it could be even bigger than 76,000 crores. Aapki bhaasha mein kahun, to design tayar hai, mask aligned hai, hamari policies short term signal nahi hai ye long term commitments hai aapki har zarurat ko hum pura karenge the prime minister also made a very important uh, uh, revelation if i can call it that when he talked about phase 2 uh, when can we see that when can we expect more clarity on that we are working on it and we would like to use that opportunity to further develop the ecosystem it's important to have fab for a long-term 25-year growth, sure. we must make sure that the equipment manufacturers, the chemical manufacturers and the gas manufacturers, they all come to India. India's aspirations comes amidst global uncertainties, an issue that has sparked concerns. The biggest thing that people like about India is that they can trust India. We respect IP rights. We uh, really respect the development process which goes into creating these really high-tech industries, so the world believes in us. Well, we call it a multipolar world, mm -hmm. and uh, well, we have to find ways to build resilience into our value chains. And this is where development in India is very important, because it builds additional stability um, in, in that global value chain mm -hmm. by building capacity over here. Building um, locally uh, sustained um, and, and self-sufficient supply chains mm -hmm. gives us immunity against uh, all kinds of regulatory changes. What we learned our lessons from 2022 COVID shortage, uh, COVID issues and the chip shortage, that we became dependent on chips beyond anybody's imagination. Sure. And because of geopolitical issues, the climate issues, we can have more risk to supply chain. Well, there's also a push from the industry to the government for looking beyond just fabricating chips in India to also designing chips in India and having local IP. I think uh, if you want to really solve all the pieces of the puzzle uh, for the semiconductor ecosystem, uh, we have to have local design companies from India, uh, which are maybe a startup or something like that. Indian design resource was set up in that way sure. that please produce volume. Right. Innovation requires a little different thinking and sometimes you have to disrupt it. And, you know, it's just the opportunity once it's created, it will happen. Well, sources tell us that the next phase of government support programs, that's ISM 2.0, will be quick to roll out. We'll see that before the end of the year. The industry will be watching very keenly if their demands are met. In New Delhi, Ashmit Kumar.